The debate has gone on too long. It's time to set the record straight. The oil you use in your recreational equipment does matter. What we're going to show you, ultimately, the best oil for you to use is the oil designed specifically for your engine. With so many options available, you might wonder, why does BRP offer its own oil at all? There are two very good reasons. First is to ensure that customers have the best ownership experience with their very high-tech, very specialized snowmobile engines. Oil plays a big role in owners getting the most performance, reliability, and long life from their vehicles. All engineers design oil specifically to their engines, and all three of the major OEMs related to the rec sports industry have three different grades of two-stroke oil, three different types of formulations specific to their appetites of their engines. The second reason VRP makes its own brand of oil is because the power sports vehicle industry does not have required certification standards or regulation. In the recreational market, there's no regulating body. So who's the regulating body? The OEM. They say, since nobody's gonna help us set a base standard of performance in the marketplace, we're gonna take it upon ourselves that if our engine needs this, we're gonna put, put an oil out there that's here. To better understand why oil matters and how XPS is custom made, BRP invited dealers and media to the development lab where XPS is produced to talk about how it is formulated and explain why XPS is the best oil for Rotax engines. We start with a very high quality synthetic base oil. Now this is about 40% of the base oil that composes an overall finished two-stroke lubricant. Now, within the base oil, there is a difference in quality. You can see synthetic base oil, colorless, odorless, very highly refined, versus lesser grades. Now, this is an area where a manufacturer can produce a lower cost oil. This is one of the things that will separate XPS into that premium category. You've heard a little bit today, the difference between mineral oil and synthetic oils. Picture mineral oil as a bunch of non-uniform size molecules like rocks and sand and pebbles, a bunch of different size molecules. To give you an idea what a synthetic molecule would be like, it's a mineral oil refined to uniform size. With this synthetic molecule, you'll get uniform protection, uniform viscosity, better boundary lubrication, less oxidation, and a more stable film strength. So you're gonna overall get a better performing product. About 30% of a two-stroke formulation is a solvent. About 20% of a two-cycle formulation is a lubricity agent. This really optimizes the oil film that helps to give the engine the ultimate protection that engineers are looking for. This is one of those very specialized tuning components of the finished product. The last 10% of a two-stroke formulation is the additive package. And this is where an oil gets truly customized, specific for an engine appetite. There are really thousands of combinations of additives that you can combine from raw materials to compose your additive package. And this is the final tuning component in what makes an oil unique. Specific with XPS, there is some exclusive elements in that additive package that no other oil contains. And it's something that specifically the E-Tech really demands. Laboratory testing determined the different additives in three OEM branded oils and two aftermarket oils. They all contain additive A, but that's all they have in common. Additive B is present in two OEM oils, but not XPS, or these two aftermarket oils. XPS is the only oil with additive C. It's a unique additive that is designed to meet a specific, unique need of Rotax two-stroke engines. With XPS oils, the job isn't done with just the initial formulation. It needs to be tested in the lab, in the dyno room, and in the real world. Only XPS was developed and approved in partnership with BRP engineers, and XPS is the only oil that passed BRP's rigorous, severe duty testing. This testing ensures that all components in its high-performance E-Tech engines have the maximum protection and highest performance in real-world conditions. And once XPS passed those rounds of testing, it was tested across the entire range of BRP products, from its 800 engine all the way down to its 550 fan, to make sure that engineers were satisfied with that oil performance. But what about aftermarket oils? 
are they good enough? It's something to ask yourself. How could one oil possibly meet the needs of all three OEMs, like the aftermarket oils claim? Do you honestly believe that aftermarket oil companies test their oil and equipment like the OEMs do? Do aftermarket companies test to the OEM standards? If they actually do test, do they test every engine in the OEM platform or the OEM lineup? If they do test, and they do test every engine, do they understand the engineers' test platforms and protocols that are designed by the OEM? Bottom line is if you want the best product and the best performance, use the OEM recommendation. As a dealer, your opinion is critical for consumers. You've seen our story on XPS oils. Hopefully you're convinced that XPS is the right oil to recommend. If you're still skeptical, here are two reasons why you should carry and recommend XPS to your BRP consumers. Recommending and selling an aftermarket oil, especially one that somebody can buy somewhere else, is just giving them a reason to shop somewhere else. When a BRP customer buys a good enough oil at the discount chain or local distributor, you're not only losing that oil sale, but you're losing the opportunity for those impulse buys. Not to mention the opportunity to show them the new vehicles and accessories. So educate your customers on the best lubricants and explain to them why oil matters. Do them the service of selling XPS. It's the best oil for their products. And you'll both win in the end. You ride it hard. Treat it right with XPS Oils.